Hi, I'm now going to show you how you convert between decimal to binary. So I showed how you convert from binary to decimal. Let's now go the other way around, which is a little bit trickier in theory because you have to do some division, but it's not so bad if you use the same method I showed in the last video. So first of all, easy one. Let's convert 14 from decimal, also called deanery, into binary. So first job, as always, I don't know why I've drawn a dot. First job is always to do my table. So we always, always, always start with a one in the far right column and double as you go from right to left. So one, two, four, eight, uh, 16. And I can keep doubling forever, but actually what I should do in this method is stop when I reach a number bigger than my target number. So because 16 is bigger than 14, actually I do not need 16 in my table it would just be a zero, okay? So you always stop just before the next column is going to be bigger than your number. So I just need actually one, two, four, and eight in this example. Now, the process to convert to the number here is to work left to right and work through the column headings. You might be able to see the answer here already, but for bigger numbers, you've got to follow the same method. So always start with your far left column which is eight in this case, and ask yourself how many times does eight go into 14? Well, because eight is smaller than 14, it goes in once, and so you write down a one under the eight column. But it doesn't go in cleanly, right? 14 divided by eight is not a clean division, so you have a remainder left over. So the remainder here is going to be six. So I put down a remainder six. And now I ignore 14, I'm looking at my remainder. I go, how many times does four go into six? Well, it goes in one time with a remainder of two. Hopefully you can see that. Now, look at the next column and the next remainder, I ignore six now. How many times does two go into two? Well, it goes in one time, remainder zero. One doesn't go into zero, so I write down a zero and I'm done. When you get remainder zero, you are done. Just fill in zeros after that point. So the answer is, well, 14 in binary is 1110. And you can check it quite easily by adding up the column headings like we did in the last video. Let's now look at a slightly bigger example. And if I'm going too fast, just pause and go back and rewatch. Uh, 72, let's put it into binary. So, first job, as always, is to do my table 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. And the next number, 128 is bigger than 72 and so I can stop at that point. If you don't stop at that point, you'll keep doubling forever and <laughs> that'd be a waste of your time. So let me put in the column headings. It's always a little bit rough doing it on a tablet. Okay, first step is always starting left to right and going, how many times does 64 go into 72? Well, it goes in one time with a remainder of eight. Now, 32. Does it go into eight? No, it doesn't, it's too big. So I put down a zero and my remainder stays the same. So don't change it if you put down a zero. 16 doesn't go into eight, I put down a zero, but eight does go into eight, I put down a one and I've got remainder zero because there's nothing left over, it's a clean division. So therefore, I just put zeros in my final columns. Don't leave them blank, you've got to put more zeros. So actually this one was quite easy, 72, is just one zero zero one zero zero zero. Let's do one more with 94 this time. I would recommend you pause and try this now, but I'll show you the answer in a second. Right, always same step. One, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, and still the next column is too big, so I can stop at that point. Same table as the last question. When the numbers get bigger, it's exactly the same process. So don't change your pattern if it gets bigger. Okay, right, next step is to uh, work out how many times the far left column goes into my number. So 64 does go into 94, one time with a remainder of 30. Now 32 does not go into 30, it's too big. So I put zero. 16 does go into 30 once with a remainder of 14. Eight does go into 14, one time, with a remainder of six. Four 
does go into 6 one time with a remainder of 2. 2 does go into 2 one time with no remainder. So we are done. You can celebrate when you get to that point, but we've got to put in our final 0 at the, uh, and the 1's column. So the answer is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. That is 94 in binary. Just a tip for you, in binary, it should always be either 1 or 0. If you get a 2, if a number is going in twice or three times or four times, you must have made a mistake. So always you should have only 1s and zeros in this column. And make sure your column headings are always starting with 1 on the right hand side and a doubling right to left. If it was 1, 2, 4, 8 that way round, that would be incorrect. Okay, so be really careful with your ordering. It's really important here.